Hey, what's up guys? It's Apollo here and welcome to the Siege of Minas Tirith. And of course, attacking me is Jackie Fish. What's up? I'm ready to absolutely annihilate you with my massive army of 5,000 Uruk. Oh my not, god. Not, not oh. quite the 500,000 which attacked it, but I feel like, you know, I, I, you're just that bad, I don't even need them. You know, oh, Sauron, wow. Sauron was just like, yeah, we'll just send this many, I'm sure it'll be enough. Like, oh, Apollo's leading the defense of Minas Tirith, just send 5,000, they'll take it. <laughs> no big deal. Um, Imagine. Yeah, so this of course is Rise of Mordor. This is a modded map made by Empty. It's the same guy who made the the um, Helm's Deep map. Uh, so it's it's called Minas Tirith Early Days. So I guess it's early in its uh, construction. So it doesn't look exactly, but considering the tools he was able to use, it looks pretty impressive, and it's going to be uh, really fun to defend this one. Uh, so yeah, you're you're the Urukai because you know reasons. Uh, the orcs are not in the game yet. I am Gondor. Uh, is there anything you want to say about your army, or you just uh, want... besides that, I got the Witch King leading it, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, um, that's cool. Um, and maybe, maybe you know, one day we'll get a, like a late game, uh, a late game Minas Tirith, a late game, a late in the building of Minas Tirith, because obviously this would be early days. Yeah. So maybe we'll get one which is a bit more built up as well, with more walls, more trebuchets. Because imagine having your, because you do have trebuchets, which are really cool. Yeah, they look great. Imagine having them like up on the third and second and fourth like layer and stuff. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we could do like um, <clears throat> like a, a video of parts. You know, like first video attack the first layer, the next video attack the second layer, stuff like that. Um, yeah, for sure. So We'd big. have to. Without going too much on a tangent on that, but like we could even set it up so that before the battle starts, we go and kill a lo load of units so that there's just dead bodies everywhere as well. Yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. But yeah, let's get this battle started. We've been All talking right. for far too long already. Too long. Straight to the action. Uh -huh. that's, how I, that's how I talk oh, to my girlfriend. <laughs> Stop Hell talking. Yeah. Straight to yeah, the that's action. How you, that's how you talk to me, right? Yeah, that's true. When you came so over. Oh, the trebuchets are shooting. So at the moment, the trebuchets are a little bit bugged. Um, this is actually kind of a pretty old build. I think this build is like a three, four month old build. So I, I, I believe in the latest build they've got, um, which hopefully we'll get our hands on soon with the updated Isengard roster, as well as um, as well as obviously trebuchets being fixed and stuff. Um, yeah, we'll hopefully get that in uh, pretty soon, which will be awesome. Because if you, I don't know if you've seen much of the Isengard roster, but the Berserkers look so cool. Yeah, yeah, no, I saw that made uh, that video you made. So hopefully they release Isengard and Rohan, so we could do a lot of like great scenario battles between those two, you know, factions. Yeah, I but mean, one can dream, right? One, one can, can dream. dream. One can dream. It is taking them quite a while to get some updates, but I mean, the it's just so perf it's just so top notch that I understand why it's taken so long. And, you know. Yeah, for sure. The quality they put into it, they don't like they don't just settle for oh, this is done. We should stick it out. Yeah. They settle. They only settle on it when it is you know up to a really high standard, which is amazing. Yeah. And they're not even getting paid, you know. So. Exactly. Yeah. So I just love watching this, uh, the Rohirrim archers from the walls just fire down here. Pretty cool. Rohirrim archers? All right, Rohirrim. Yeah. Sorry, we were just talking about them, the Gondorian <laughs> archers. Oh, yeah, that looks so good. Oh, my God. Yeah. It really just, like, brings me back to the oh, movie itself. Like, the armor and stuff. It's just such high quality. Yeah. I think my favorite unit has to be the Gondor spears. Just, like, you know, a pretty basic unit, but they just look so good with the way that... They're kind of like the hair flat, like comes out the back of their helmets and stuff. It just really brings me back to watching it in the cinema, you know, for the first time. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it really is a shame that Attila is so difficult to mod and it's so poorly optimized. I mean, I just hope in the next one, they they kind of fix some of that stuff. The next historical title, whatever, you know, whatever that may be, or whenever that may be. Uh, but yeah, also, I love the fact that the archers take cover after they fire their arrows to reload another shot. I think that's like the yeah. coolest thing ever. Do you ever find though, whenever you're looking at the archers, they take a year to actually shoot <laughs> yes. their arrow. Yeah. Like, they do like six volleys in quick quick succession and then you finally go and look at them and then all of a sudden they just have stage fright and they're just like, I don't want to. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like every time when you're like making videos, it's like, oh, check this out guys, watch this volley. And like five minutes later, okay. <laughs> Literally yeah. five minutes later. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why they're like that. I guess it's like they have limited ammo, so like, make your shot count! <laughs> well, actually, in Rise of Mordor, you can actually replenish your ammunition when you're out. Uh, oh, really? Cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can do it, but I know that these guys can because they're a little bit newer. 
That's very cool. Oh my god, my men are taking a absolute pounding. These archers are really close to being out of that Yeah, position. so if we look at the balance of power, it's not looking great for for uh, <laughs> Jackie Fish here. Uh, yeah, again, this yeah. is more of a showcase than anything else, but yeah. yeah. We're definitely just having a cool looking battle. Yeah, yeah, just having a good old, good old battle at uh, Minas Tirith. Uh, I, I feel like I just don't quite fill this uh, fill pen or fields up quite as much either, you know. My army <laughs> yeah. doesn't doesn't quite look as threatening yeah. as say the uh, yeah. Oh my god, I forgot to move up my ram. Oh, that's so annoying. It's gonna be so long to move this <laughs> thing up. Theoden's gonna show up and he's like, "What? <laughs> like this is it? <laughs> the gates still up? What? Do we even need to support them? Or is it it's like <laughs> yes. they got it under control? I rode so quickly for this. Like, it took me like four days to get here. My horse nearly died. <laughs> here we go. My men are, are now smashing their shields, ready to embrace the enemy that are about to scale the walls. Nice. I'll continue to move up my forces as well. Oh, it looks so good. I can't wait until, like, m like the orcs are out. Like, I think that's one of the factions I'm looking forward to the most of the orcs. Yeah, yeah, just because it's, like, it's going to be so fantasy, you know? Like, it's going to be interesting to see Attila, which is very, like, you know, human, you know, historical, realistic, to see, like, a yeah. fantasy creature like that. Shoot the trolls! The trolls! <laughs> you actually have Gandalf as well, right? We're also yes, using the yes. Gladiator Elf mod. Gan so. Yeah, yeah, we're using... I got Gandalf and Ar Aragorn. Gandalf's legit was there defending. Aragorn was off, you know, doing king stuff. <laughs> doing ghost stuff, you know. Doing ghost stuff. So I hope this isn't going to be really annoying with the pathfinding um, when I try and bring units up on the siege towers. It might be. I mean, I can imagine so. Yeah. I'm actually going to hold fire on my... How, like, how many men are you committing to these walls out of interest? You know? Pretty much everyone. Yeah, you're not gonna be holding people back for like this. You're just holding the first layer. Yeah, right? yeah, we're just yeah, we're just gonna fight the first layer. Yeah. But you never know, guys. If if you drop loads of lo love in the comments and the uh, likes on my video, we might you know continue this on and maybe do a day two. Of, yeah, um, yeah. Trying to assault the uh, next layer and maybe even the next couple layers. Yeah, for sure. If you want to see like different uh, scenarios here, we can reuse some of these maps and. And try different things. Yeah, because we're definitely going to have to do Helm's Deep again when we actually have Rowan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Without, a doubt. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. It's so good. And we can actually use the elves as well from, like, the Lord of the Rings pack. And, oh, it's going to be so good. Yeah. I just wish, um... I wish the replays worked, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because you can't, like, because you're having to... Luckily, like, we're not doing anything too crazy here. So we're not having to worry too much about the micro, but... Like, it is annoying having to just not focus solely on just how beautiful the battle looks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, luckily this is just a giant wall battle, pretty much, so... Yeah, I mean, I guess so is Helm's Deep as well, so we're kind of lucky there. Y yeah, you for know. sure. Like, the javelins have been ripping me apart on this wall. Yeah, I got my Pelligrim Marines over here, kind of supporting the, the front lines. You're doing a pretty good job, though. I mean, you're starting to carve out... Wait, what did... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I had troops what? on the battlefield, like outside the walls. Like, wait, what's going on here? Oh yeah, because you can actually deploy over to this left-hand side um, where Faden turns up. Yeah. So you can put your cavalry there. Yeah, you can deploy the cav and they'll show up, which is cool. But we just wanted to keep it, you know, keep infantry. It PG. Yeah, keep it PG. It's just too violent with the cav showing up. Yeah, way too violent. Way too violent. Oh, this gate, I'm so annoyed I forgot my uh, battering ram and it's just taking forever. It's finally getting there though. <laughs> well, it's that's like the movie because it takes them a while. Yeah, that's like one of the scenes I really love in the extended edition. Just because like you don't really get the same feel of how epic like the Gondorian gate actually is. Like how it's been blessed and how it's just like insanely strong. Yeah. Um, and you don't really get that because they cut out lots of the bits in the normal edition of them trying to smash down the gate and there's just like i think in one of the scenes the bodies are literally piling up so much about having to run over the bodies to try and hit the down the gate it's ridiculous yeah like why would they even it, i mean they had to have known that the gate's really strong right yeah i mean they had to use the, the huge wolf battering ram right which was blessed with the fire of sauron himself yeah to even break through I, the gate so and that took them all day as well to do 
here's my thing about that. Like, if they were aware of the gate being really, like, strong, why even send up a bunch of crappy, like, rams and orcs to try to take it out? Why don't you just go straight with the, the special ram in the first place? Maybe because, like, they just feel like they don't need to. Like, if you're a really OP person, right? Like, say you're, like, a really good sword fighter and you come up against, you know, someone who's pretty good at sword fighting, you're not going to super try hard right at the beginning, are you? You're just going to be like, I can probably take this guy out. You know, you're not going to put as much energy as you need into it, you know? Or, I like, suppose. you might just, just look like overkill it. I guess they were just like, we got too many orcs, we need to kill them off a little bit here. <laughs> hey, you can never have too many orcs. So the gate is finally down, however, I've got my goddamn fountain guard to run into. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait for this, I'm uh, burning oil as well. Oh, this man. It's gonna be a death trap. Oh my god. Completely fair, this is completely fair. Okay, crossbows, yeah, it's completely fair, that's why my crossbows are gonna give you no mercy. <laughs> And Very archers, good. even though the archers are out of ammunition. I can't, I can't replenish them, that's annoying. I guess, I guess it is, you know, quite like the film. The gate is going to be extremely hard to take. And it's more, I want to try and take the walls so that I can take the gatehouse um, more than anything. Yeah. Oh, I've also got some crossbows making their way up onto the wall for some reason. Okay. <laughs> I guess okay. that's okay. Gandalf, he's like, whatever comes through this gate, you're the men of Gondor. <laughs> It's just one unit of uh, dragon skins, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, oh, Nothing it's just a dragon skins. <laughs> yeah, literally does that. Uh, just 120 men, and I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, nice. all right, sweet. <laughs> nice. No trolls? All right. I can't wait for that as well, to actually get trolls in the Oh, games. yeah, trolls. So, yeah. Custom yeah. animations and stuff. Oh. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be more than awesome. You always got to one-up me, don't you? I, I literally do. It's just like, in my You butt. just got to one-up me every time. I actually do. I don't know. I think I'm just ill. You know, it's just a, a I sickness just, I have. Yeah, it's called you're narcissistic. <laughs> Whoa, that's rude. <laughs> Self-centered narcissist. We're done professionally, you know. Yeah, right? we've been done professionally, dude. <laughs> Why do we keep doing videos? Together? I don't know. Because I, this is, you know, I'm like, man, I want to do a Rise of Mordor video, but. You know, there's nobody to play with, so I guess I'll play with Jaggy Fish. Just using me, basically. Yeah, basically. Oh my god, the walls. Look at this, uh, I guess, your, yeah, your left-hand side. Look at the far left of it. There are so many units here fighting. <laughs> yeah, on the walls. The trebuchet's still firing. Yeah, Gondor's like, defend the trebuchet! <laughs> you do actually have some dudes that are actually defending you. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, like, we cannot lose it. Because, you know... Gondor, they're British. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Everyone's, everyone's British. Especially the orcs, yeah. <laughs> Imagine the orcs are like, Good day, governor. Good day, governor. Looks like me's back on the menu, boy. I don't know why I'm trying to do an English accent. Like, I'm I know, you are English. You just speak normally. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to deploy some more men. Actually, no, I'm not going to say anything to keep nice and quiet there. You are... You're nothing, doing... nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I mean, you're you're doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, surprisingly. surprisingly. Yeah. Whoa! You took the words out of my mouth. I know. And luckily, you've also run out of ammunition on a lot of your dudes as well. So. Flee, flee! <laughs> Imagine Baden. I mean, he doesn't. The tower hasn't been built yet, so. Yeah. Baden's, I mean, Baden. Baden, well, come on. I mean, hey, you messed up with the Rohan earlier, so that's. That's my... not as big as a mess up. I mean, they basically got the same name, right? I don't know. I just know him as, like, the steward. <laughs> the steward of Gondor. The steward dude, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's commit more men here. To the gate. I want to try and break through here. No matter how many men we lose, there'll be plenty to replace it, so I'm happy with that. Also, we managed to get some men off, you know? A couple men just off on the... Fire! What are you, what are you doing, Pelliger? Why are you running back? You are, you're on skirmish mode. Uh, no. Are you sure? They look like they're on skirmish mode. Well, I'm me. running them now. Hold! Shield wall! You think this is going to stop back my, my Urukai? Oh, I'm Ooh. hoping. Oh, is it? Well, I guess one of the things I, I do like about Attila is the way when the shield will clash quite a few of the animations, like... They actually, are, there's a bit of like, instead of just two units running into each other, there's a bit of back and forth, like there's some animations and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think that's really cool. I love the one where the, he like 
charges in full force with his shield and like knocks over a guy. Yeah, there's also ones where they like they fully um, flip them over their shield. Or yeah. my, pers my personal favorite is the one where they um, they spear them out the sky. Like the dude like flying jumps into the shield wall and the spear moon just like pierces him. Oh in yeah, air. yeah, that's like that's a gem. Like that's a rare one. Yeah, it's so cool. I remember the first time I saw that one, I was just like, wow. Yeah, and it was because like I just hadn't seen it like before, which is pretty crazy because yeah. it's so cool. Oh, look how cool these statues are as well, leading up to the gate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way down. Is that Catelyn Tully? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It looks a bit like her, I'm not it's gonna Athena, lie. It's Athena, right? I don't know. I think that's Catelyn Tully. Okay, we'll go with that. Or Stark, I guess, I should say. Fountain God, no! Aragorn! Get Aragorn! I might even have to send in my, my main man, the Witch King, soon. Yeah, dude. But apparently, man. I've gained the upper hand, so... I could kind of go for a Theoden in charge right now. <laughs> Imagine if you just brought one and I didn't even realize. Yeah, like, that... yeah, yeah, I'm not going to bring one. Don't worry. It's cool. Yeah, well, it's just, that's lame. We won't do that. <laughs> and then I just Ten... play, like, through the speaker of my phone, like... Da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> Da, 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 I imagine da, as well if you actually just brought 10,000 of them as well. <laughs> you yeah. know, da, 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 a da, ton da. of them. That would be amazing. And somehow I didn't notice as well. There's no, like, nothing hiding them. You just, like, just like emerge from the sea. <laughs> I bring the army, the undead army. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny. I Come mean, on. this is like, I kind of expected a bit more from a defensive Gondor, if I'm honest, you know? I know, I don't know what's going on. Probably because I'm I, just defending, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Jeez, yeah, you still have a ton of troops. A ton of troops. What the heck? <laughs> and loads of ammunition as well. Like, and I've, I haven't used any of the Gladrian Elf units. I have some Gladrian Elf units, but I'm not using them. This is all my, my Rise of Mordor units fighting. Wow. Yeah, I guess it's just that easy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> cool. I can I mean, use my most... heroes. Your heroes, okay. Maybe, I mean, I don't want to send him a Witch King because I don't want him to die to burning oil. Oh, it's actually, I've actually taken the gatehouse. Oh, we're good. Okay, everyone in existence, time to run through the gate. <laughs> Let's overwhelm the defenses. Hold. Trebuchets are still shooting. I think I've actually got out of their range, though. So they can't hear me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm out of the trebuchet range. Oh, God. <laughs> you want the hordes coming through the gate now? Yeah. Thank God the burning oil is no longer burning me. We need more men over there. I'm disappointed in the fountain guard, really. Yeah, I mean, I think you just focus them down with your crossbows, right? I mean, let's see how many kills the crossbows have. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, that's why they died. <laughs> Don't tell daddy, it's fine. <laughs> okay, but Wish King can come in now. He's going to slay Aragorn himself. Aragorn! 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 Defend the gate! With your life! There are so many Uruks making their way through this. I'm actually just going to select everyone, and we're just going to push through the gate. Oh no, behind you, behind you! Yeah, I was so close. I was just about to mention that. I was, being, I was being all smug and everything, being like, look how good. Look I'm how so, good this charge is on your back. I'm like Napoleon. <laughs> My, My enemies tactics, are many. Yeah. My equals are none. Are none. The floodgates have opened! Just need to kill uh, kill Aragorn and I think uh, a lot of your units will just pour pour away. Your spearmen though on my left are doing an amazing job of surviving. Yeah, they're preventing you from doing anything. Yeah, I guess because they are spear infantry, but I mean I hope I'll just use my numbers to, to overwhelm them. Maybe some crossbows can come over here and help out a little bit. As these crossbows seem really OP. Apparently, Rome's mother to us all, though, so there's that. 
Even to the orcs, man. Even yeah. to the orcs. I mean, that's very true. Rome doesn't discriminate. Yeah, you can't blame them. So the Witch King and Aragorn are duking out right now. Oh, God. The Witch King has a few extra boys, though, with him to help him out, so... Aragorn, turn and fight! And look at the Urukai just marching in to help out as well. <laughs> Aragorn's just like, oh my god! Where's the undead <laughs> army? Into the wrong neighborhood, Aragorn. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh my god, so many units. How's the balance of power this even? I don't know, dude. I, I really don't. I'm, I'm quite lost. Aragorn, I wish I could save you. I mean, I've got a decent amount on the walls, but... I other... mean... <laughs> you have 800 men left. I have 3,600. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I just want the Aragorn to die. Yeah, if Aragorn dies, the battle's probably, probably pretty much over. Yeah. Aragorn! Tone tie, basically. I've been in worse situations. I think we have Gandalf as well. Don't, uh... Yeah, you know. Gandalf might be able to do some stuff. Come on, Gandalf! Use some magic, dude! Use some magic. Imagine if he did just, like, go Warhammer on this bitch and just... <laughs> that would be it. amazing. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lightning and stuff, like... <laughs> Yeah, it's like that. That's a good example of what yeah, we were talking about earlier with the gate, you know. It's not like Aragorn, I mean, it's not like Gandalf just uses everything he can do, you know, when he's fighting in battles. Yeah. It's not like he puts out all his magical spells and stuff, or like whatever he has in his arsenal immediately when he's fighting someone. It's kind of more of like a last result. Was it result? Yeah, like, isn't <laughs> it though, like, he's not allowed to use that much magic? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure if his, like, life depended on it, you know, he would, uh, he'd whip it out. Well, I mean, like, if you think about it like that, though, it's kind of like... If if it got to a bad situation and Gandalf, like, uses all his magic, saves the day. Like, can you imagine how pissed people would be? Like, dude, you could do that the whole time? And you're waiting <laughs> for this, this battle? This yeah. war could have ended a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know how strong he was. I think he was more of, like, a mentor than anything. I mean, he's old enough, so who knows what he did in his... His younger days when he was a spring chicken. In the 60s. <laughs> protesting the war. <laughs> okay, fine. There we go. Bands power finally yeah. shifting. The walls have definitely fallen now. Yeah. Uh, Aragorn is dead. Gandalf is surrounded. Okay, so, if, we can look, if we can look away when we look at the kills on these crossbows, that'd be good. Because <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. I feel pretty... I didn't think they'd do this well. Is my, like, thousand? No, oh no. Just like a couple hundred, but there's still That's a lot considering a, yeah, your I mean, army was only 3,000 men. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's just a showcase. A it's just oh, no, a showcase this... battle, but I'm still going to get the comments like, You suck! You Jack Fish always beats you! I mean, uh, it's just, just the circle oh. of life. Yeah, it's just the circle of life. It's just how nature is. You just flow with it. Okay, there we go. Is everything routing, or you have some men still... Still, still fighting to the last. Uh, I've got one unit. Of, it's that spear unit. And I can just admit, well. if you want. I mean, it's up to you. If you want to see every one of your men killed, then fine with me. Well, even if I surrendered, you're still gonna kill them. Your orcs. No, I'll let them leave. I'll, 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 I'll just take them as slaves. I'll be like, I'll, 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 like, I'll give you permission to leave the city. Yeah, sure, sure. I could totally see the witch king being like that. <laughs> like, yo, you can come out. It's cool. It's chill. And there's all the Gondorians just slowly walking past, like, the hundreds of thousands of orcs <laughs> and trolls and stuff. Just like, you all right? You all right? <laughs> I just imagine the Witch King, like, you know, when he talks, he's all like, no, no man can kill me. And then he takes his helmet off. He's like, yeah, he's like just a normal British dude. Like, you can get out of the city. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah no, I'll just submit. Yeah, it's literally just that unit now. There we go. So, yeah, Minas Tirith, guys. And you can download it, too, um, as well. So it's not, like, part of Rise of Mordor. Oh, my God. Them kills on the crossbows. <laughs> Holy crap. A total of, like, 600. No, like, more like 800 kills there. That's yeah. insane.
And the dragon skins as well. One of them got 369 oh kills. Oh my god! 322. Awesome, yeah, I don't think I got any number. Look at my fountain guard did terrible because he just obliterated them with uh, yeah, crossbows. Yeah, I must have. Wow. My cool. Well, that was, that was really fun. Yeah, no, that was fun. That was a cool map, and it's it's cool to see like a glimmer of what Rise of Mordor is going to become, you know? Um, in, a, in like 10 years or so. 10 years, yeah, you know, when I'm dead. <laughs> um, but well, hopefully not in 10 years. But anyways, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and um, we'll see you next time.